right. Hey. Thanks for doing this. I love you. Basically, I've been interviewing artists, uh, trying to get a sense of both the history of dance as well as where it's going. And according to Juilliard, you've choreographed operas at almost every major theater in the world. This is true. I guess the first thing I'd like to know is why, how, and where you started teaching. How long is the tape? I was the talk of the town, in the part of the town that talks about dance. Could you talk about what it was like in the 60s? Oh, he asked questions too. We exhausted ourselves with sex. That woman had more basic positions than Baryshnikov. Were you gay in 1967? Were you? I'm probably not into whatever you are into. Oh, you have no idea what I'm into. What is it you do? I'm a cop. <laughs> he arrested some small-time drug dealer and beat the shit out of him. What sort of dealer? Hash. Jesus! Can you just tell us whether or not those are the dates that you remember? I'm afraid I'm becoming uncomfortable with this interview. You can't expect me to watch him do that kind of thing. Come on, Lisa. Chin up. So you haven't had sex for seven months. <laughs> Was that too much information? No, I love sex information. I find it so sexy. I try and come up here at least once a week. Kind of spiritual tic tac. -er. Say something, I'm giving up on you. All I'm saying is, don't stay stuck, Lisa. Will you try? I don't think I can. Why not? If I let go, everything will break. I'll be the one if you want me to. What do you want? I want my wife. You are very different from anyone I have ever met. I love my life. I regret my life. The lines eventually blur, and it's just my life.